Okay, good evening, students. Um, I'm going to start with today's class. I'm going to wait a while for the rest of the students, but um, I'm going to wait a minute for them. Okay, I'm going to wait a minute, but um, right now it's 8 o'clock, uh, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch a video about the past symbols in order to make a deeper analysis about this topic, right? Okay, here we go, try to pay full attention to this and I hope you can learn something from this. Okay, here we go, right? <coughs> What is the past simple of B? We can say he is tall about the present. What can we say about his past? He was short. This is called the past simple tense. We use the past simple to talk about the past. He was short is the positive. What is the negative? The negative is he wasn't short. Wasn't is the contraction of was not. Here are some more examples. I was a police officer. I wasn't a police officer. She was beautiful. She wasn't beautiful. It was expensive. It wasn't expensive. We were at home. We weren't at school. They were in Russia. They weren't in Thailand. So the past simple of B has two forms, was and were. Which one is singular and which one is plural? Was is singular and were is plural. But sometimes English doesn't always follow the rules. The pronoun you can be singular or plural, but we use were for both singular you and plural you. You were late to school. You weren't late to school. We can also make questions using the past simple. Why were you late to school? Were you late to school? The short answer for a yes-no question is, yes, I was. No, 
I wasn't. When were they in Russia? Were they in Russia? The short answers are, yes, they were. No, they weren't. How much was it? Was it expensive? And what are the short answers? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. So remember, we use the past simple of be to talk about the past. The negatives are was becomes wasn't, were becomes weren't. Was is singular, were is plural and for you. The short answers to yes, no questions are yes plus subject plus was or were. No plus subject plus wasn't or weren't. If you've enjoyed our video, please visit our website at umangzu.com to check out our latest videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And remember to like, comment and share our videos with your friends. <coughs> Okay. Okay, very good. Basically, students, we were watching a video about the passing book stands. I hope you can learn from something from that. And uh, we're gonna wait for the rest of the students, right? Because um, we are a little bit late. Okay. Okay, because of the time, I'm going to start with today's class, right? And um, let me see. We're going to continue uh, with today's class, and this is unit number three, customer service. Today, we're going to finish with this unit. Um, we get um, several topics with this unit, and grammatically, and some topic about customer service, right? Uh, we saw different uh, things in different situations. Okay, and also um, we were talking about some grammar things that we're gonna review today class. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wait for a while.
Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Very good. Okay, very good. Nice, how are you? Good evening again. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Fine, right? Okay, uh, guys, unfortunately, we don't have enough time, but uh, today is Friday. Anybody knows, right? <laughs> so that's yeah. why probably the, the uh, next of the, some of the students um, got a problem with their work or something like that. But uh, when you watch the video again, you're going to, uh, at the beginning, you're going to find a, a video related to the past simple tense, right? Okay, right. By right now, right. yeah, tell me. Yeah. Okay, good. But right now we're gonna uh, continue with today's class and uh, basically give me a chance. Yeah, sure. Okay. Basically, we're gonna continue with unit number three. Uh, this is customer service, right? And uh, today's class, we're gonna finish with unit three. Really good. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, this is Principiante module number four, right? And the topic for today's class will be almost the same, simple past, information question. But right now we're going to uh, see past simples, negative, positive, and interrogative. Okay, really good. And we got a, a lesson objectives. Uh, Miguel, help me to read the specific one, please. Okay, the specific uh, participant will be able to use simple past tense. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Right now, Fabricio, go with this. Okay, teacher. Class objective. At the end of the class, participant will be able to know how to practice vocabulary learned during, during the week. The week, yeah, yeah. thank you, Fabricio. Okay, as you see, students are basically uh, today class will be, you know, uh, we're gonna see again some topic that we were talking during the class. For example, uh, during the whole this week, we were talking about the past simple tense, right? Positive, negative, uh, the verb be in the past, and so on, okay. But today we're gonna put into practice all of that uh, knowledge. We're gonna start with useful words. We got some useful words, but basically are useful verbs. Pero básicamente van a ser más verbos que palabras. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna see this. We got some verbs and right now, uh, we're gonna see this one, right? Okay, Fabricio, help me to read it, please. Print, printer. Printed. Yes, really good. Nice, cool. Gracias. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Ahora sí ya sabemos que si tenemos T at the end, T, right? Printed. Yes. Really nice work. Okay, uh, Fabricio, do you, do you know what does it mean? Print. Uh, imprimir. Yeah, the action, right? to print something print. Mm -hmm. in the print program. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, let me see. Tatiana, good evening. <clears throat> How are you today? I am sick. Ah, really? Okay, because of the rain, right? You got a flu or something like that. Okay, don't worry, Tatiana. Okay, thanks for being here. Marlon, good evening. How are you today? Okay, Marlon, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are Very you? nice, teacher. Very ah, nice. Cool. Oye, Friday. Oye, viernes. Yeah. <laughs> Today is Friday, right? And the body knows what we're gonna do later on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, amazing. William, good evening. How are you? Oh, 
Okay, William, uh, can you turn on the microphone? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, also. Okay, so it's so what a less tired of working. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna continue with today's class um, because of the time, right? Oh, Wendy, good evening, Wendy. Okay, Wendy is uh, getting pupusas or something like that, you know, something for dinner. Okay, we're gonna continue with today's class. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, we're gonna have these verbs, right? Okay, and Miguel Angel, can you read this verb? The word is hate. Yep. Hate it. Hate it, really good. And what does it mean in Spanish, Miguel? Uh, odio, odio y odio. Odio, okay. Uh, can you give me an example in the past? Uh, I had, I hate wake up more early morning. Morning. Okay, okay, okay. Really good. Okay, nice. Cool. More or less. Okay, but, but wake up is another verb, right? Entonces sería solo hate. I hate wake up. But in the past, in the pasado, otra. Eh, Another example in the past, on hated, for example, yo odia teacher ahí, eh, no sé, alguna comida, bebida, but no uh, my mother in law, right? This is no. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. you can say, I hate, uh, for example, in my case, I hated um, a hamburger that I bought yesterday, for example, right? Okay, uh, maybe uh, another example may, uh, was it, uh, I hated the, I hated my ex-girlfriend. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, really good. <laughs> That's a nice example, right? Okay, really good. Let me get it. Okay, uh, print, printed, hate, hated, right? Okay, we're gonna continue with this. Marlon. Okay, Marlon, can you help me to read it, please? Invite, creo que es, teacher. Yeah, yeah, sure. Invite. Invite. Invited. Yes, really good. Nice. Congratulations, Marlon. This is really easy. Invite, invited. Thank you. Uh, Marlon, can you give me an example using invited? I invited um, uh, eat pupusas. Okay, okay, really good, Marlon. A quien invito a comer? My. <laughs> hey, una pregunta, teacher, hablando de esto. ¿Cómo okay. podríamos decir? ¿Cómo podríamos decir? Yo invité a Puposa a una canita al aire. <laughs> okay, a una. Y, y, uh, ¿Cómo es eso, canita al aire? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, a, a lady or something like that? Uh, um, no, dejémoslo así. I, I invite uh, a ir pupusas my girlfriend. But. Okay, okay, really good, Marlon. I invited, no, me peguen. I invited my girlfriend to eat pupusas. Yes, really good. Nice. Cool. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, esa no me la sabía. I didn't know that expression, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna continue with this. Tatiana, help me to read it, please. Hello? Hello, Tatiana. Meet. 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 
Okay, meet, met. 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 Entre y Yeah, yeah. met. Meet, met. Met. Okay, uh, what meet, does it mean this? Met. Yeah. What is the meaning of this? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Okay. Um, let me see. Somebody who helped Tatiana. What does it mean, meet? Uh -huh. <clears throat> William, Marlon, mm. Miguel, Fabrizio. Meet. What does it mean, meet? Meet. Conocer, encontrar. Yeah, yeah really good. Conocer, encontrarse o reunirse. En este caso va a ser reunirse o encontrarse. Okay, that's good. Really good. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, okay uh, what's the difference between both? En presente, meet. En pasado, met. An example could be, I met uh, my girl in El Salvador, for example. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm uh, gonna continue with this one. Uh, let me see. Uh, Jorge, can you help me to read it, this one, please? Uh, pay? Yep. Yeah. Pay? Okay, yeah, yeah, really good. This one, pay, paid, with D at the end, paid. Okay, if you see, it sounds similar, but we get a little D at the end, paid. Paid. In this one, pay. Paid. Okay, that's good. Jorge, can you give me an example using this one in the past? Paid. Uh, I paid my bills yesterday. Ah, okay, really good, nice. Uh, thank you, Jorge. Uh, de hecho, Jorge, me acaba de recordar, I didn't pay, I didn't pay my bills. <laughs> ya me van a cortar la luz. Okay, nice. Uh, the last one, right? <clears throat> okay, Carlos René, help me with the last one. Okay, teacher. Put. Put. Okay, really good. This one, uh, it's gonna sound the same, right? Put, put. This, this Poner. Yeah, y puse. Okay. Yeah, really good. ¿Qué nos va a decir que es pasado? The context, the complement. Right? The context, correcto. Yeah, really good. Uh, we got an, an example here. I paid my product, right? Acá, uh, it's missing, you know. Oh, I paid my products. Okay, really good. Okay, uh, we're gonna try to repeat these verbs. All of these are regulars and all of these are irregular verbs. We gotta print, print here. Hate, hated. Invite, invited. Meet, met. Pay, paid. Put, put, right? Okay, very good. Okay, uh, this is uh, the most common verbs in English, right? You can use it during the class or if you want to spread something, just uh, you have to learn these verbs. Okay, I don't know if you have a question about this. Everything is clear. Okay, all right, good. Okay, nice, here we go. We're gonna uh, have the attendant list and we're gonna go to the attendant list right now. Okay, let me see. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, um, Carlos Enrique Martinez, are you there? No way. Okay, Wendy Saray Bonilla. Wendy Sarai. Hello. Okay, really good, Wendy. Jose Angel Santos Martinez. No way. Gabriela Merari Zamora Orellana. No right. And Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Present teacher. Really, really good, Jorge. Carlos Alfonso Alvarado Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. All right, okay. Uh, William Alexander 
Martinez Enrique. Present teacher. Really good. Miguel Ángel López Crespín. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay, really good. And Rodrigo. Rodrigo is not here right now. Okay, Daisy Elizabeth Resinos. All right, Daisy, she's not here yet. Um, Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I am here, teacher. Really good, Tatiana. Uh, Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Rene Herrera. I'm the teacher. Really good. And Fabricio Alexander Jimenez. I hear teacher. Really nice work. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, right now we're going to continue with today's class, but. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. I ya vi los comentarios ahí en el chat. <laughs> That's funny, right? <laughs> okay, I didn't know that expression. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to continue with today's class. And uh, basically, we're going to finish today with the past tense. So if you got a question so far, you can ask me uh, in today's class, right? Okay, we saw the verb be, was at work. Auxiliary do. Uh, in the past, we're going to use did and regular verbs, que son lo que le agregamos ed, right? And irregular verbs uh, are the ones who change its root. Okay, very good. We saw this one, this one too, this one too, and this one too, right? Also, we saw the negative way and the question form. So today we're going to practice all of this. I don't know if you have a question about a special topic. No questions? Okay, if you don't have any question, we're gonna continue. And we got this. Okay, we're gonna make a feedback about this. We got the simple past tense of the verb be. Basically, this is the verb be, am, um, are, and is, right? And we're gonna use it according to this subject. I, we, you, they, he, she, and it. And in the past, we're gonna use was, were and was. Solo tenemos dos, was and were. En presente si tenemos tres, am, um, is, are. Okay, uh, keep in mind, we're gonna use for the third person, was. Para la tercera persona, was, y para I, we're gonna use was. For the plural one, we're gonna use were. Yep. Okay, this is just a, a feedback about this. And right now, we're gonna have how to use it. Cómo utilizar este did. Did era el auxiliar eh, y algunas veces iba a ser un verbo. Let, let's see this example, right? We can use it like a verb and like auxiliary. Okay, cool. Right now, we got an example here. Uh, let me see, Marvin, help me to read the first one, please. I did a lot of things today. Okay, very good. Yo hice muchas, muchas cosas. Muchas cosas hoy. Ok, muy bien, really good. Eh, in this case, eh, ¿cómo está actuando este did? Like a verb or auxiliary? Un verbo. Yeah, very good, like a verb, right? Ok, we're going to continue with the second example. And Carlos Alfonso, can you help me to read it, please? I didn't do a lot of things today. Things, things. Or things today. Okay, really good. Thank you, Carlos. Entonces, estas que hizo muchas cosas. Y esta sería que no. Que no hizo muchas cosas. Ahora, entonces este didn't está funcionando como verbo o como auxiliary. Auxiliary. Auxiliary, really good, auxiliary, right? And this one? Yeah, like a verb. 
Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando negamos el pasado con el didn't? Se, se mantiene el verbo. Yeah, the verb. Uh, we're going to have it in the present tense. Really good, nice. Okay, then uh, we're going to have the last example. And, okay, let me see. Wendy, can you help me to read it, please? Did you do something today? Hey, really good. That's a question, right? <clears throat> okay, uh, what's happened here? ¿Qué hacemos con did? We're going to put it at the beginning because it's a question. Porque es una pregunta. Si aquí tuviera una pregunta. WH word, iría de antes todavía de did. But now mm -hmm. we're going to use with did. Did in this case is an auxiliary or verb? No, auxiliary. Auxiliary, really good. And this one? Verb. Do uh, verb. in verbs. Verb. Verb, really good. Okay, what's happened here? If we got a questions, is this an auxiliary? Si tenemos este auxiliar, el verbo va a ir en su forma. Original. Original. Yeah, really good. Keep in mind, negativo y question, we're going to put the verb in the original way. Okay, nice, cool. Okay, I don't know if you have a question about this. More questions? No? All right. No. Okay, really good. No. Nice students. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to continue with regular and irregular verbs. Keep in mind that right now we're going to make a feedback about this. Vamos a hacer una breve retroalimentación por alguna duda que quedó. Okay, we got a regular and irregular. Okay, what's happened with the regular verbs? Okay, um, basically, a uh, regular verbs. Okay, I'm sorry. A uh, regular verbs. We're gonna add the verb ed at the end. Ed, right? Vamos a agregar una ed. Esa ed va a tener three possible pronunciation. Ir, t, and the, right? La primera sí se escucha. La segunda y la tercera, cuando hablamos normalmente, casi no se escucha. Nos va a decir que es en pasado. The context. Okay, really good. We got some example here. Uh, I, I would like to hear the right pronunciation of this verb. So please pay full attention to this. This one, it says plate. Plate. No play it. Play it, no, it's plate, plate, okay. This one, saved, saved, no save it. Okay, that's good. Uh, this one, slipped, slipped, wait, okay. Uh, no slip it, no, right, slipped. Okay, then we're gonna have carried, with D at the end, carried, carried. And the last one, talked, talked, talked. This one is like a, a double T at the beginning and at the end, taught. Como un rebote, taught, right? Okay, really good, taught. Okay, nice. Uh, right now we're gonna um, to say this example with the right pronunciation of the verb. So we're gonna start with, uh, let me see, Carlos Alfonso. Start with this. Is they play soccer? Yeah, really good. Sounds like a gringo. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Marvin, go ahead with this one. She saved money. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Nice. Cool. Hey, okay, let me see. Carlos Rene, the number two. He flipped. Hey, yeah, cool. I like it. Thank you. Uh, right now, we're going to go with Tatiana. She carried books. Really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Nice. Uh, Miguel Angel, the last one. The last one say he talked on the phone. Yeah, cool. Really good. Okay, right now, students, uh, you you sounds like a gringo, and and I really like it because uh, before 
in in some classes ago you said something like a play it, save it, sleep it, and so on, right? But right now you got the right pronunciation. I like it. Thank you. Really good. Okay, this is regular verb. Add ed at the end. Right now we're gonna go with irregular verbs. Okay, let's see. What's happened with irregular verbs? Basically, uh, the verb chain its roots, right? Cambia su raíz. Okay, let's see. We got it. Um, we're gonna do the same. Basically, say, set, say, set. Okay, make, made, made. Go. Okay, go, went. Went. Okay, take. Took. Took. Very good, Wendy. Uh, come. Came. 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 Okay, good. See? Swim. So. Yeah, so, really. so. Okay, se, se han, han notado que a veces digo, eh, we saw this topic in yesterday class. Vimos yeah. este tema, la clase anterior. You can use it like this. Okay, for example, I saw Carlos Mejia in yesterday class. Vi a Carlos ayer. Okay, muy bien, that's good. Eh, okay, do you have any problem with the pronunciation of some words? No, no problem. Okay, uh, say, what does it mean, say? Hablar. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Decir. Decir, yeah. Decir, decir. Decir. Make. Hacer, fabricar. Hacer, pero de fabricar, right? De hacer algo con nuestras manos. Okay, go. Ir. 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 Okay, muy bien. Ir. Take. Tomar. 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 Yeah. Eh, con. Venir. Ven, venir. 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 Sí. Ver. Ver. Ok, thank you. Right now, what we're gonna do is almost the same. We're gonna say the right pronunciation of the verb with the full sentence, right? Ok, we're gonna start with Carlos Mejia. Ok, go ahead, Carlos Mejia, with the first example. G said. She say hello. Okay, okay. Carlos said, said. Uh, sorry, sorry. She said hello. Yeah, really good. Nice. Thank you, Carlos said, Mejia. Said, said. said, right? Said, like uh, if you didn't drink water for a while. Como que si no ha tomado agua ahí mucho tiempo, <laughs> <said> ahí. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, we're gonna continue with this one. Uh, let me see, <clears throat> Fernando. Fernando Roldan, are you there? Or are you uh, getting some pupusas? Me toca decir make. Yeah, yeah, this one. I make my homework this weekend. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, that's good. I made my homework. Yeah, it's much better, right? Okay, thank you, Fernando. Really good. Okay, uh, Wendy, help me with this one. He went to the store. Yeah, really good. Nice. Uh, let me see, uh, Morgan, this one. They took a picture. Really good. And now, William? My son came home. Yeah, congratulations. Really good. And the last one we're going to have for, uh, let me see, Jorge. He's of a movie. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Jorge. Really, really nice. Okay, everybody. Uh, said the right pronunciation of the words and that's nice right okay and wendy is you know making some cake or something like that are you working with fondam right yes 
You see, I know, I know something about okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, we're gonna continue with today's class, and uh, we have to read the following email about customer problem. Uh, we're gonna um, basically to be able to read in a really easy way, right? Okay, uh, we got a two subject in front. ¿Se recuerda qué significaba two? Para. Para. Uh, para. Yeah, really good. This is like an email. Para. From? De. De. De, de, de la persona. Okay, really good. Subject? Asunto. 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 Yeah, really good. Asunto o el tema de lo que vamos a hablar. Ahí tema principal. In this case, asunto. Eh, el asunto va a ser una complaint about a trip. Complaint about a trip. What is complaint? Queja. Una queja, yeah, about a trip. Un, un viaje. Cool, really good. Ese viaje tuvo un pequeño problema, así que vamos a ver what was the problem, right? Okay, but right now uh, we're going to try to read this complaint about the trip. But before to read this, I'm going to tell you the right pronunciation of some words, right? We got a had, had, chance, chance. Eh, esta palabra, this word, you know, is special for me because some of the people say, dame un chance. Entonces, <laughs> nosotros ya, ya hablamos inglés, no, 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 no sabíamos. Right? Inglés de cojute. Yeah, chance. <laughs> okay, chance. Esto se dice chance. Y de hecho significa una hay, eh, opportunity. Right? Chance. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> ya ven que ya sabíamos <laughs> English. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, this one, another. Uh -huh. Honest. Honest. In this case, Honest. in English, all the time when you see an H, Cuando veamos una H, sí va a ser con J. Ya, yeah, por right. Aquí sí somos famosos los de San Miguel, acá, right? San Miguel. Yes. <laughs> ok, we have to put a J, right? Honest. 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 Por ejemplo, hotel. En inglés se dice hotel. 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 O sea, hotel. hay que decir que aquí en San Miguel City, they learn something from that. Uh, pronunciation, right? That's nice. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Was okay. Experience. 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 Yeah. Sure. Experience. Yeah. Then we get a uh, this ah uh, this one assigned, assigned, like T at the end, assigned. Mm -hmm. Assigned. Yeah, and AC. 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 Teacher, how do you say assigned in Spanish? Assigned. This uh -huh. one. Uh, this one is like uh, como que me asignaron. Ah. Uh. Asignar. Okay. Good. Thank you. And you're welcome. Okay, AC. AC, right? The air. Aire acondicionado. Yeah. Good. <laughs> nice. Eso sí se lo sabe ahí facilito. Okay, good. Let me see. Okay, considering, considering. Considering. Okay. Convenient. Inconvenient. 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 Okay, really good. Okay, did you find another word that you don't understand how to say? You can ask me right now, right? No? Teacher, yeah, tell me. Question. In, in in Spanish, I I use from. Digo, the four corrugates, uh, remitente, for okay. in English from, para for say from Heiser at art, pero I can say from I from Guatemala, I from San Salvador. Es correct use this word. In, in las dos maneras? Yeah, yeah, sure. You can use both. Uh, the, the hecho, Fernando, that's a nice question. From, 
it's uh, solo nos lo enseñaron para nationalities, right? Mm -hmm. At the schools, en la escuela. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now we're gonna see English for work. So that's why from we're gonna use it in email in order to say the source, de dónde viene, de, de qué fuente viene algo. Muy bien, también, por ejemplo, eh, necesito algo de ti. Obviamente lo que le estoy pidiendo, pidiendo I'm sorry, proviene de usted. Entonces, I need something uh, from you, right? De ti. Okay, nice. Okay, really good. But this is a kind of weird, but we can use it in that way. Okay, right now, uh, because of the time, we have to read this uh, complaint about a trip. Okay, who wants to start? Raise your hand if you want to practice. The more you practice, the more you learn. Yeah. I know you want to do it. Don't be shy. I teach you. Okay, go ahead. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. Yes. But to be honest with you, it was a bad ex experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. Okay. It was a long trip. Excuse me. It, it was a long trip. Yes. And the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because, because of the inconvenience. I have. I have. Really good, Carlos. Nice. Congratulations. Nice. Awesome. I like it. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. Uh, only this one, you have to add T at the end. Assigned. Assigned. Okay. Really good. Okay, Carlos, proceed ahí, you know, to break the ice. Uh, <laughs> así que, uh, tell me a name. Zero. Zero, uh, Carlos. Just <laughs> <laughs> one of your classmates. <laughs> no, una pregunta, teacher. Este, okay. la, este traveling, ese, se, ¿está bien pronunciado? Yeah, traveling, yes. Es traveling. Viajando. Ah, no, la pronunciación traveling. Traveling, traveling. traveling. yes, traveling. Okay. It's okay, okay, really good. Somebody else who wants to practice this uh, complaint? Okay. My name is. Jose Ángel. Jose Ángel, okay, very good, thank you. Okay. Right, <laughs> right. En bolea, le cayó. Last week I had the chance to travel with your company to another country, but to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me indeed how AC it was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the incumbent inconvenience I have. I have, yeah, really good, Jose Angel. Congratulations, nice work. Okay, uh, Jose Angel, uh, the same trouble, right? Assigned, assigned. Assigned. Yeah, really good. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I, I need uh, somebody else. <clears throat> okay, somebody else, let me see. Marvin, are you there, Marvin? Go ahead, Marvin. I know you can do it. Okay, um, last week I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you asked me, I didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, 
Okay, really, really nice. Thank you, Marvin. As you see, uh, the awesome. more you practice, the more you learn, right? I need somebody else, the last one, for this reading. One more, a volunteer. Hi. Okay, thank you, Tatiana, go ahead. Last week, last week I had the chance to travel with your company to another country, but to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because because the bus that you assigned me in did have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am um, consider considering considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. I had really good. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Nice. Okay, Tatiana, everything is okay. Really good. Nice. Uh, okay, uh, just go with this word, considering. 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 And, yeah, inconvenience. Inconvenience. Yeah, really nice. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Because of the time, we're gonna continue with the uh, with this class. And uh, after the reading, we're gonna have the questions words in English. Okay, uh, as you see in the previous classes, we were talking about did was were and how to ask question with that. But right now we're gonna add wh word. Okay, eh, hemos visto cómo eh, hacer una pregunta con did was were, pero ahora vamos a agregarle una wh. ¿Para qué sirve esa wh? Para saber specific information about something. For example, we get it this one. Eh, Carlos Enrique, say this one. No le escuché, maestro. Ok, ok, Carlos Enrique, just repeat this word. Who? Yeah, who, really good. Eh, this who, ¿para qué sirve? Veamos acá. Para hablar sobre una persona. Yeah, ask about a person, right? Para preguntar acerca de esa persona. Ok, really good. Eh, ok, Ok, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Ok, eh, we're going to use who to ask about a person, right? Este es quién, para preguntar acerca de una persona. For example, who is that woman, right? Who is that woman? Para algunos va a ser, eh, this is a common question, right? Who is that woman? ¿Quién es esa eh, chica o esa muchacha, right? Ok, really good. Uh, okay, right now we're gonna go with where. What does it mean, where? Donde. Donde. Very good. When? Yeah. Cuando. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. Cuando, cuando. Who is quien? Where, donde? When, cuando. Okay. Uh, this one. Why? Por qué? Por qué? Yeah. What? Okay. 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 And okay. the last one? Who? Como. 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 How? 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 Yeah. How? Like, uh, como las personas nativas, ¿verdad? En nuestro país. How. Tal vez era un, algo ahí, un saludo, pero aquí significa como. Como, right? How. Okay. Uh, let's see some example about this. Okay, we got some example. You can find this on your uh, books, right? And we got a uh, uh, information questions. Eh, esas preguntas, valga la redundancia, preguntamos por información en específica. Por ejemplo, eh, what did you buy? What did you buy? How do you translate these questions? 
¿Qué comprarás? No sé si me ¿Qué? ¿Qué, ¿Qué compraste? ¿Qué compraste? Yeah, really good. ¿Qué compraste? And the possible answer, it says... About vacation package. Ok, really good. I bought a vacation package, right? Entonces ya nos está diciendo specific information, lo que compró. Ok, nice. We're going to continue with this example. What about this one? Where did he fly to? Where did he fly to? ¿Dónde él voló? ¿Para dónde él voló? Ok, yeah. Thank you, Para, ¿Para dónde o hacia qué, hacia qué destino voló esta persona? Ok, veamos acá. What, what about the él voló a otro país. Voló. Ok, he flew to another country. Flew, right? Country, really good. Entonces acá ya estamos respondiendo a esta. Where, donde. To another country, right? Ok, really good. What about this one? ¿Cuándo? When did we pay? ¿Cuándo? For the when service. ¿Cuándo pagó el servicio? ¿Cuándo nosotros? Cuando nosotros pagamos el servicio. Okay. Cuando pagamos el servicio. Cuando pagamos el servicio, really good. Ajá. When. Pagamos el servicio el mes nosotros pasado. Nosotros pagamos. Ok, we paid for the service last month. Ok, really good. Se pagó ese servicio el mes pasado. In English, uh, it's not necessary to say the, the uh, uh, this one. Solo pagamos. Yes, solo pagamos, nos incluimos. Pero sí es importante eh, a la hora de decirlo. Para, en español, para, para nosotros no es importante eh, mencionar los pronombres personales y esa es una de las razones por las que a las personas les cuesta hablar español, porque se pierde. ¿Sí? Nosotros solo decimos, ah, ya pagamos el recibo de la luz. ¿Quiénes lo pagaron? No sabemos, pero ya lo pagamos. Güey. Que lo <risa> <risa> ok, that's good. Uh, that's happened the same right here, but in the other way around. We paid for the service last month. Para nosotros sería, pagamos el servicio el mes pasado. Pero si ellos no le agregan esto, no van a entender. Por muy sencillo que parezca, no van a entender. Right? We have to add the personal pronouns. O de quién estamos hablando. Okay, very good. We're gonna continue with the last one. Okay, uh, let me see. Carlos Mejia. Okay. Okay. How did they find all of that promotion? Promotion, really good. Uh, what does it mean, these questions? Okay. How did they find all of that promotion? Okay, really good. That sounds like a question, right? Thank you, Carlos. Ahora, ¿qué significa esta? How did they find out? How, si no me equivoco, es como, ¿verdad? Como. Como okay. ellos descubrieron la promoción. Ok, ok, Fernando, ¿se estará bien? <laughs> ¿Cómo ellos descubrieron la promo esta promoción? Yeah, sure. ¿Cómo se dieron cuenta o cómo descubrieron esta eh, promotion rate? Right? They find out about it on what? Ellos se dieron cuenta en internet. On internet, yes, really good. Internet. As you see, Internet is answer the WH word how. Internet está respondiendo de la, esta WH word de cómo. Cómo se dieron cuenta. Ah, by internet, right? When, cuándo, last month, where, dónde, another country. What, a package, right? Package. Really good. So as you see, uh, if you, you can use WH word, but uh, before of the, for an specific information. If you want to know a specific information, you can use WH word, what, where, when, and how, right? 
Si necesitan preguntar información en específico, tienen, pueden utilizar las WH Word, que van a ir antes del día. Yep. Ok, really good. I, I don't know if you have a question about this. Teacher. Yep. En Spanish, por ejemplo, si, me, si nos preguntan cómo te diste cuenta de la promoción, a lo natural en internet, en Facebook, en tal, o sea, solo es la muy, eh, la muy, el muy dato, en inglés es necesario decir toda la oración. Ok, eh, maestro. Solo por aprender, no sé. Ya, ya, ahí no, ahí no. Porque cambia el verbo. Ok, de hecho sí podemos decirlo de ambas formas, pero hay una gran diferencia. Eh, cuando nosotros vamos por la calle, los agentes de Tigo o de otra compañía eh, nos dicen, ¿cómo se dan cuenta de esta promoción? Ah, en nosotros, en internet. In English, could be the same. How did they find out of the promotion? On internet, on internet, right? Pero se escucha ofensivo. Eh, no sé si han notado ustedes that uh, in U.S. Uh, exist racism, right? Un poquito de racismo. Eh, entonces, estas culturas son diferentes a las de nosotros. A nosotros no nos afecta que alguien nos diga, ah, no me gusta, go ahead. Pero a otras personas sí. So that's why we're going to use the full census, right? Ah, lo encontré en este lugar, como para ser cortés y no entrar así de colo. Yep. Lo haríamos más por cultura, digamos, como yeah. por, para no cometer el, el error, digamos. Sí, de que se sientan ofendidos. Ah, ok. Thank okay. you. Ok, you're welcome. But you can say it on internet, pero nos podemos arriesgar ahí a que something else happen, right? <laughs> okay. ok, that's good. Ok, here we go. Um, ok, uh, we're going to have an activity about this. Tenemos una pequeña actividad de esto. Yeah, we have time. Ok. What we're going to do, we're going to complete uh, these questions and we have to answer them. Vamos a complementar estas preguntas. What did you? Acá agregamos un complemento, lo que ustedes quieran. Okay. Eh, we got five questions and five answers. Así que casi nos va a tocar una cada una. Eh, I'm going to give you one minute to understand the question, right? Then you're going to have 30 seconds to understand how to answer this question. Voy a darles un minuto para que piensen en qué podían agregarles a estas preguntas y luego otros 30 segundos para ver la respuesta que podemos dar. Ok, ready? Sure. Ok, one minute. Try to understand this. Go ahead. Okay. You got it, right? Okay, nice. Cool. Uh, in the first, we're going to start with what did you? Que, algo que usted compró, que usted hizo, right? Okay. Okay. And right now, we're going to go with how did you? Aquí agregamos algo relacionado a contestar este how, cómo, why did you, por qué, lo que sea, where, dónde y who, quién. Ok, eh, think about the possible answer, you're going to have 30 seconds, 30 segundos para pensar en las posibles respuestas. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Ok.
Okay, very good. Okay, you finished, right? Okay, we're gonna start with a Marvin. Marvin, the first one. And, a, okay, Marvin, let me see, with Tatiana. Marvin hace la pregunta de la primera, de lo que sea. Vamos a ver si comprendemos acá. Eh, how to ask a question. Y Tatiana va a responder. Okay, Marvin, go ahead. Let me see. Um, what did you write now? Okay, can you repeat it again, Marvin? What did you write now? Right now. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see. No entendí el verbo. Okay, we're gonna see this. Marvin, can you repeat it again? What did you write now? I right now. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, Tatiana. Ahora mismo. Okay. Pero... Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, what did you... It's missing a verb. The verb. Como este, Marvin está funcionando como auxiliar. No significa nada. Solo nos dice que es una pregunta. Entonces, it's missing a verb. Hace falta el verbo. What did you... El verbo en presente. Do. Hacer. Yeah. Do. 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 Ok. Right, right now. now. Yeah. Very good. Ok, Tatiana. <laughs> Telling us. I am. Uh, I am. Um, I did. I, I, sorry. I did. Uh, I did. Estas diez. I did study. Uh, my okay, okay. I did my homework. Eh, pero para pasarlo. Okay, entonces sería aquí. I studied, right? Like this. Did uh -huh, I studied English? English. Okay, right, right now. <laughs> right now. Okay, but right now, eh, okay. Let's see something here. Right now. Remember that we are talking in the past tense. Estamos hablando del pasado, right? Pasado. Entonces, right now is an expression in the present. Entonces, aquí... Ah, pero, a... pero así era la... Yesterday. Ah, sí, yeah, yeah. Ahí, yesterday, ¿verdad? yeah, sure. Or in this way, Marvin, what did you do today? Today, right? What did you do today? ¿Qué hiciste esta hora? Ahí no especificamos tiempo. Yep. Uh -huh. Y Tatiana dice, I study English. Okay. Today, it could be today. Porque pudo haber sido un momento. Uh -huh. No sabemos si hace un ratito o hace mucho tiempo. Right? O hace un minuto. Yeah, sure. Ok, Marvin and Tatiana, it's ok? Yep. Okay, really okay. good, nice. Okay, question number uh, two, right? Okay, good evening, Rodrigo, how are you today? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, cool. Okay, nice, we're gonna continue with this. Uh, okay, we're gonna go with uh, question number two, and uh, let me see. Okay, uh -huh. Marlon, ready with question number two, and Miguel Angel gonna answer this question. Okay, go ahead. Okay. How did you, how did you buy? Okay. Okay. Um, How did you buy it? How did you buy it? How did you buy it? Okay, Marlon, you have to add as an object, right? Tiene que agregar que qué fue lo que compró y cómo fue lo que ya compró. Okay, go ahead again. How did you buy? Yeah.
new yep. phone to choose. Okay, how did you buy? I'm sorry. ¿Cómo, cómo compraste los zapatos? Oh, Ahora. Okay. How did you buy uh, your shoes? Oh, okay. okay, like this, right? Okay, really good. Okay, right now, Miguel Angel, answer these questions. I bought. Okay. In five dollars. It's an, an offer. Ah, in five dollars. It was an, an, uh, an offer. An offer, right? Yeah. An offer, really good. Thank you, Miguel. Nice. Congratulations. Okay, really good. Thanks. Nice work. Okay, thank you, Marlon. As you see, uh, we have to use uh, the object. Tenemos que especificar el, el objeto, si no nos vamos a perder. Right? El español es diferente porque el español es como una intuición. But in English, we have to, uh, you know, to be specific. Tenemos que ser un poquito más específicos. Ahí, Marlon, pero me gustó. Eh, conjugamos bien eh, all of this. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go with question number three. Okay, here we go. Let me see, William, ready? Yes, the question. Yeah, question, and Fabrizio is gonna ask, answer the question number three. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why did not you use the vehicle yesterday? Okay. Uh, can you repeat that again? Why? Didn't okay. you, you use? You use? <laughs> you use, yes. Uh, the vehicle or the car, I'm not the car yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, really good. Why did you use the car yesterday? Okay, Fabricio, answer this question. Okay, turn on the microphone, please. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. I didn't use uh, my car. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. I didn't use my, my car for, como para decir que está en el mecánico, está averiado. Okay, I didn't use my car because. 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 Okay, because. 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 Is. Is. Uh, in the. In the. Tiger. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> uh, you can say taller workshop. Work, workshop. Uh, workshop. Workshop, like this. The workshop. Yeah, really good. Nice. Congratulations. Really nice. Okay, <laughs> this one is perfect. And Fabrizio, really nice too. Okay, uh, we're going to go with uh, question number four. Let's see. Yeah, number four. Word. Uh, let me see. They, uh, I mean, Wendy, are you there, Wendy? Yes. Okay, Wendy, ask question number four to Carlos Alfonso. Where did where where did you go? Okay, good. Okay. Where did you go? Uh, mention a place, Wendy. No. <laughs> did you go? Where did you go? Uh, don't know the quizzes, pero cuando eh? they say a place or a time, yesterday, today. Right, uh, now, uh, yesterday. Yesterday, right? Yesterday, yes. yeah. Where did you go yesterday? Okay. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Carlos, answer this question. I did go okay. to the homework. No. <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I did go. I didn't go. I did. No, I did. I did, I did. Okay, I did. Uh -huh. Go. Uh, al trabajo, no sé si está bien. Go. Work. Go to, to my work. To my work. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, muy bien. As you see, Carlos and everybody here, did, yeah. okay, did, uh, si lo negáramos, didn't, estaría perfect, didn't. estaría perfect. Didn't go to my work. Didn't mm -hmm. go to my work. I didn't go to my work. Pero en este caso, como no es negativa, tendríamos que quitar esa y poner go en pasado. ¿Cómo es go en pasado, Carlos Alfonso? When. Ok, when. yeah, went. Ahora dígale todo, please. I went to my work. I went to, to my, work. my work. Ok. Ok, really good. Nice. Congratulations, Carlos Alfonso and Wendy. Really, really nice work. Bueno, una Así. consulta. Yeah. Este, teacher. Uh, word is is equal how? I'm sorry. Uh, word y how es es lo mismo. Se puede utilizar de la misma forma o no? Okay, work y home. No. Home. J O. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see, uh, Carlos and everybody. Work. Eh, puede ser un verbo y un nombre. Como verbo significa trabajar. Y como nombre es el lugar de trabajo. Eh, job, job es trabajo. Pero con la diferencia que es eh, ¿qué tra de qué trabaja usted. Por ejemplo, eh, that's my job. Es la, la acción que usted genera. No el lugar de trabajo. ¿Sí? Okay, okay. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo veo ahí un taller bien, eh, really nice, eh, un workshop, y yo digo, ¿quién trabaja ahí? Ah, y ya dice alguien, yo trabajo ahí. Ah, ok, that's my job. Ese es mi trabajo, se siente orgulloso. Entonces, eh, en este caso sí. Pero work, estamos hablando del trabajo, ¿verdad? de la acción. Pero work es trabajar como verbo y también habla del lugar de trabajo. Work. Pero para que no haya esta confusión, han notado que a veces hablamos así, workplace. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's for that, um, you know, confusion that you can have. Ok, workplace. Pueden decir workplace para que no haya ningún problema. Yeah. Ok. okay very good. Ok, we're going to go with, uh, uh, with the last one. Ok, let me see the last one. Uh, Sí. Ok, William, ¿Ya, ¿ya pasó William? Ok, ok, William, go ahead with the number five and let me see, I'm gonna answer Jorge. Ok, William, go ahead. Yo puse así, va. <laughs> yeah. A ver si está. está bien. Ah, no, es, esa es la de Who, ¿verdad? Yeah. Who do you think ate your grandmother cake? <laughs> okay, who did? Who did you? Uh, do you think ate your grandmother cake? Ate. Ok, 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 that's good. Ok, William, eh, did you write it on your computer? Espérame. ¿La, la escribió en la copo? Estaba viendo yo, ajá, cómo, cómo hacerla. Porque, o sea, lo que yo quise poner va que... Ya. Yeah. ¿Quién crees que se comió el pastel de tu abuela? <risa> ah, ok. Ok. Uh, ok, that's good. Okay, that's How a, do you uh, eat? Okay, who, How do you eat cake? Who Grandma. did you? How did you eat? 
Oh, did you think? Think. Ah, think. Think. Who do you think? It. It. Uh -huh, it. Your. Hey. Mom's case. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. Who do you think? Okay. You think to it. I'm sorry. Your mom's cake, right? Okay, very good. Uh, let me see, uh, Marlon. Marlon, right? Oh, Jorge. Jorge, you want to that? Okay, Jorge. Yes, uh, I think. Okay. Uh, uh, I think two weeks. Uh, um, my mom case uh, was. Uh, Williams. Okay, I think Williams. Okay, Williams. Williams. Eight. Eight. Uh, my mother cake. My mom's cake. Yeah, really good. Like this, Jorge. Nice. I think William ate my mom, my mother cake. Really nice work. Okay, students. Basically, I know that you understand how to use. Uh, the past simple tense in the right way, right? Okay, very good. But right now, because of the time, ya nos dejó el tiempo ahí. Eh, en este caso, I bring it to you a video, right? Les traje un video sumamente genial. But, um, how can I say this? <laughs> But, but I played at the beginning, right? Lo puse al principio eh, mientras estaban ustedes ingresando a la, al Zoom. Así que eh, you have to watch it uh, on the video, right? Cuando vean el video nuevamente, ahí lo van a ver. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, nice. I'm sorry. And uh, now we're going to listen to a beautiful audio, right? About a passenger of a train. Okay, let's see. We're gonna listen to this audio right now, and we're gonna try to answer uh, these questions. Okay, let me see. Yeah, sure. Okay, pay full attention to this, right? Oh, uh, where am I? Excuse me, do you need any help? No, I'm, I'm just looking. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, actually, yeah. Um, I want to go to the science museum, but I've been lost for the past few hours, and I can't make heads or tails of these ticket machines. Ah, uh, well, just press this button. Oh, yeah. And from here, it's a dollar fifty. Okay. Then get on the train at platform number four. All right. Oh, and how often do the trains come around this time of day? Usually, they come about every six minutes. Okay. And where do I get off the train? Get off at State Street Station, three stops from here. Okay, I got it. Thanks for your help. No problem. Good luck. Okay, very good. Uh, did you understand everything, right? Yeah, sure. I see entendieron todo, right? Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, tell me a word that you understand. <clears throat> uh, ¿Qué palabras entendieron? Okay. Creo que dijo que quería ir al museo, al, al okay. museo de historia. Okay. Sí. Really good. Vamos sí, bien. Algo así. Ah, no, al de ciencia fue. Okay. Ciencia. Okay. okay, that's good. We got the idea, right? Tenemos la idea que iba en un tren, así que ya eso es en una base. Uh, okay, nice. Okay, uh, the first question will be, where does the man want to go? ¿Dónde quiere ir el hombre? Acá tenemos las tres opciones. Eh, how much? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Dólar fifty. Ok, ya vamos a ver ahí. Sí, es cierto. <laughs> ok. Eh, where should the man get on the train? ¿Dónde debería este hombre eh, agarrar ese tren? Ahí está. ¿Dónde? ¿En qué platform? Right? Number, number four. Ok. How often do the trains come? ¿Qué tan a menudo eh, pasa el tren? Five minutes. 
Okay, okay. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes. Later on. Okay, give me a minute. Let's see. Where should the man get off the train? Donde debería este hombre bajarse del tren? This one, right? Station. Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to try to listen again. Please pay full attention. Then we're going to answer all these questions. Right, here we go again. Oh, where am I? Excuse me, do you need any help? No, I'm, I'm just looking. No. Okay. Oh, well, actually, yeah. Um, I want to go to the science museum, but I've been lost for the past few hours, and I can't make heads or tails of these ticket machines. Uh, well, just press this button. Oh, yeah. And from here, it's $1.50. Okay. Then get on the train at platform number four. All right. Oh, and how often do the trains come around this time of day? Usually they come about every six minutes. Okay, and where do I get off the train? Get off at State Street Station, three stops from here. Okay, I got it. Thanks for your help. No problem. Good luck. Okay, very good. You got it, right? Okay, the first uh, question, right? Where does the man want to go? Where? To the science museum. Okay, the science museum. Everybody's agree? They like this. Cool. Okay, nice. So, so. <laughs> okay, so, so. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, sure. Really good. Okay, question number two. How much is the train ride? $1.50. Uh, $1.50. This one? 15. Or this one? 15. 15. Yeah. The first one. 50, 50, 50. 50, 50. Right. 50. 50. 50. 50. Yeah. Okay, nice. Cool. Everybody's agree? Say like this. Sure. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, congratulations. Good job. Okay, uh, right now we're going to go with number three. Where should the men get on the train? For platform number four. Number four. This one? Platform yes. number yes. This. Number four. Yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I hope. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, very good. Nice, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Fernando. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna go with number four, right? How often do the trains come? About every six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes, this one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Really good. Here we go. Yeah. Sure. Congratulations. The last one, right? Where should the man get off the train? Where? At the station. At the start. station. At the start. Palace station. Station. This one or this one? Answer two. At the state strict station. Station. Yes. 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 Two, two. Okay, who said number two? Say like this. <laughs> At the stage, uh, the stage is through the station. Okay, okay, okay. here we go, right? Respuesta definitiva. Three. Fernando, help me with the music. Okay, here we go. Okay, you got it five out of five. Yes, right. Congratulations. <laughs> Eh, felicidades, hemos ido mejorando. Yeah, right. I like it because you are improving a lot. <laughs> okay, but because of the time, guys, uh, we're going to continue with today's class. That was amazing. And we're going to jump to this. Uh, let me see. Okay. Yeah, this one. We're going to go to this. Okay, because of the time, right? Porque siempre les robamos unos cinco minutitos después del tiempo, así que vamos a hacer esta actividad right now. We're gonna create a short conversation. You're gonna work in groups, right? Between three or five people by using, ¿qué voy a llamar esta conversation? Was or were, ¿qué es was or were? Pasado. Pasado. En pasado, pero ¿qué significa pasado? What's a word? Fue. Fue. Estuvo. 
Oh, estuvo. Estuvo. Yeah, really good. Did or didn't? Auxiliar. Auxiliar. Or the verb is. Oh, verbo. is. Yeah. Dice. You have, you can add WH question. Did. Las que vimos anteriormente. Pueden agregar de esa. For example, what did you do today, Marvin? Y ahí. You can use also regular or irregular verbs. Cuando contesten esas preguntas en pasado, tienen que mencionar verbos en past simple tense, right? Okay, you got it, right? Okay. It's clear what you're going to do right now? Yeah, sure. Questions? <laughs> got a question about this? All right. Okay, go ahead. We're going to work in group. Remembers, we're gonna uh, create a short conversation that you have to use. Was and were, did, didn't, uh, wh word, and uh, what else? Ah, regular and irregular verbs, right? Okay, good luck and see you there, right? Okay, very good. Okay, go ahead, don't be shy and practice each other, right? Take care, good luck, and I hope everybody can work on this activity. Okay. Daisy, are you there? Okay, I think Daisy, yeah, sure. She's there. <laughs> es, eh, um, I didn't say that, teacher. Okay. <laughs> what, what did you say? I didn't uh, say, sorry, sorry, say. <laughs> ah, no say you. Uh -huh. What did you say? I didn't hear what you said. No, no escuché que dijera. Nothing. Better. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amazing. Yeah. Okay, uh, you got a question? No questions? In this moment, no teacher. Okay. Uh, okay, continue working. I'm going to go to another group. Bye. Okay. See you in a moment. See you. Una conversación en la que hay que crear. Pienso, no sé. Modo que los tres veamos la pantalla. <risa> wow, <okay. risa> Solo que bueno, ahí va. Sí, no, está bien, no hay problema. Este, vamos a ver. Estás. Entonces. Ok, sí, hoy sí. Ajá, aquí iba a poner primero lo que me dijiste. Ok, Fabricio. How are you? Ahí tenemos una doble question. Ajá, uh, dale, ahí. ¿Hoy contesta? Ajá, uh -huh. hi, Jorge. ¿no? Sí. Ok. I'm fine. ¿Cómo era la otra pregunta? I'm fine. Thanks. Eh, cuando no, 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 no.
Nice, Fabricio. Uh, what, what did you do yesterday? Así, ¿no? Do you do? What? Oh, was, was the? Nice. Was nice. the? No, es what. No, no. What? Ah, no, no. Entonces. El, el qué. Ajá. Primero era nice. Me dijiste, nice. no. Nice. ¿Cómo se llama? Ajá, Ajá nice. Nice. Coma. Ajá. Was did you was did you do was no es what no es was es what watch ah what ajá what did 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 what did did you do yesterday 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 <risa> Poner el signo de pregunta para que diga que sí, 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 es cierto. Mark, question, question mark. Ajá, question mark. A ver, vamos a ver. La otra persona puede decir: No, bad. Today I went to the supermarket. No hay bien, ok. Ok, very good. Um, and what about Wendy? Wendy is helping you? Sure. ¿Sí? Ok. Eh, le quedó congelada la pantalla. Ah, ok. <laughs> That, that's what's happened, right? Ok. <laughs> Wendy, turn on the webcam. We want to see uh, so many cakes, right? Yes. Yes. Right now I prepare the cake. Uh, really? In the for the morning. Morning. I thought that mm. it was for the group. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Va, okay. va a compartir la pantalla, Rodrigo. No. Ay, 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 ay. Mi muñeco no me quiere pegar. ¿Qué cola? Bueno. ¿Les parece así? O sea, le vamos a ir poniendo nombre de cada quien. Ah, va. Sí, sí, sí. Hi, how was your day? No bad today. I went to the supermarket. Ah, ah, no supermarket. Y no colocaste que compraste. Yeah. Aquí está. Ajá, ahí está. Ah, no lo había visto. To buy a one cake. Yesterday I bought a cake today. <laughs> También. Um, podríamos poner. Podemos poner que a uno le salió mal o... o yo como Ajá, que... o, o cuánto te costó. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso de cuánto costó puede ser otra persona que lo pueda decir. Ah, cabrón. Uh -huh. Podemos solo poner... No, pero si, si usamos este de las preguntas que acabamos de ver, sería de ponerle Wii, que por qué compró un pastel, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Si estamos en cuarentena. Ah. Ah, pero, <risa> pero vaya, con WH ya tenemos. Did no hemos ocupado. Did. Ah, vaya, entonces podemos decir. Ah, bien, sí, ocupado. Ah, pero solo es una pregunta. Vamos a poner en Why do you buy it? ¿Así? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué lo compraste? Because, uh, ah, puede decir, ah, because a uh, birthday de my grandmother. Vamos a buscar. Uh, 
El internet, un momento. Ay, disculpen. Teacher. Hello, hello. Chao. Este, al parecer Daisy no, 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 no tiene audio. Ah, ok, ok. No problem. No problem. De Daisy is a little bit sick. Uh, she gonna just watch our class, right? Ok. Yeah. Oh, estamos ahorita. Hola. Eh. Hola. Hola, Daisy. Hola, Daisy. me fueron. Entonces, Miguel, eh, ¿cómo haríamos la pregunta con el WAS? Eh, sería así que eh, what what were what were you así como what were you, your favorite part of the game? Sacaste el cargador. Uh -huh. okay. No, porque ocupas el, el, el what were eh, el was del was ajá pero sería el where ajá yeah. where where was yeah sure ajá uh -huh. sería así what were you favorite part of the game what were okay uh, Miguel Ángel uh, eh, que que cómo sería en español eh, sería que, ¿cuál, cuál, eh, qué parte fue la que, ah, no, sería entonces en este caso, what were, enjoyed it, uh -huh. more, more enjoyed it, uh, the game, como, así como, cuál fue la parte que más te gustó, uh -huh. que más okay. disfrutaste. Ok, yeah, yeah, sure, what were the part, what were, uh, the part, enjoyed it, enjoyed it, enjoyed <coughs> of the game. Of the game. Uh -huh. Sería. Quiero buscar. Ok. Sería, which, which was. Was the part. No. Um, you enjoy it? The most. Which was the part that you enjoyed the most? Yeah, really good. The part that did you enjoy the most? ¿Qué fue yeah. la parte que más disfrutaste? Eh, ¿Cómo es su basketball? The, the middle time. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? The middle time. Uh, is the show the middle time. Así como el, el, el espectáculo de medio tiempo que se hace. Uh, the middle time show. No, middle, de mitad. Uh, middle. Ah, middle. 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 ¿Cómo se escribe? M-I-D-D-L-E. The middle time. Pero sería así, ¿verdad? The middle time. No, the middle. The middle. Uh, M-I-D-D. M-I-D-D-L-E. Middle. Middle time. Sí, middle time. Show, no, ¿verdad? Ah, como no se puede, puede dejar. Vale, middle time show. No, sería en este caso, Eddie. Part, sería. Show, bueno, si dejémoslo. Ajá. De allí tendríamos que ocupar eh, regular, verbos irregulares. Sería así como. Eh, algo así como tocó, llegó a tocar la banda, así como llegó a tocar la banda eh, 
¿no? Recodo, llegó a tocar la banda Recodo. Ajá, así como uh, play it, uh, de... o hubieron cachiporristas. Ajá. The cheerleaders. Ah, the, the show, the shoot leader. Uh, algo así como al ah, espectáculo de las... Uh, cheer, cheers leader show. Cheers leader show. Yeah, sure. Okay. <coughs> okay, okay. I'm working to you in a minute. Okay. Uh, cheer, cheer. Bye. Uh, Luego, ¿Qué me responde ahí? ¿Qué me responde? Luego le, le responde in, Fernando. In my vacation, I went visit my father en California. De la luz. Uh, in my case, I... Entonces eh, ahí sería, my, I visited. Ajá. No, okay. porque ya estoy poniendo, I went. Entonces ponga el... I'm, I, I went, went to visit, uh -huh. I went visit my father. Sería el verbo no, normal. Sí. No, porque no. No, no estaba okay. viendo la traducción. Pensé que la traducción es. Ah, bueno, sí, no está ingreso en el anfitrión o nosotros. ¿Qué le pasó de ahí? Leathers. Eh, en vez de leader, leaders. Leaders. No. Espérenme, voy a buscar una. Eh, ojalá lo den ver esta letra. Leaders. Uh -huh. Leaders. Así. Ah, ¿Qué más ponemos? Sí. Ajá. Eh, voy a poner. Eh, Uh -huh. I work. I work all day. <laughs> I don't teach it. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, sí. <laughs> yes. No, no. Sí, no sé si le vas a agregar aquí algo, Carlos. Le puse esto, pero no sé si le vas a agregar algo. <laughs> Sí, ahorita digamos que tenemos ya algo, ya, ya tenemos la conversación. Ok, uh, that's good. I would like to hear you. Go ahead. Ok. Hello, Fabricio. How are you? Hi, Jorge. I'm fine. Thanks. Nice. What did you do yesterday? I went at supermarket in the night. Hi, Carlos. How are you? I'm very good. Where did you go yesterday? I didn't go, I didn't go to anything place. I stayed in my home yesterday. Why were you at home all day? Ah, uh, because I was worried my computer. And you, Carlos? I'm a worker all day. Okay, very good. Nice, good job. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Pretty good. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, basically everything is okay. Just Carlos uh, worked with T at the end. Worked. Worked. Ah. Worked. 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 I work all day. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you guys. You are really, really good uh, on this. But uh, continue talking, you know, to your own job, but in English. See you in a minute. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Hi, who was your day? Not bad. Today I I went to supermarket. And and what did you buy? You buy? I about a cake. Creo que tenemos un error aquí. ¿A dónde? 
Aquí en este. Aquí el en... tío solo se ríe, qué malo. <risa> no, no, de hecho que... <risa> Creo que es que como a Carlos le pregunta a José Ajá. que compró, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero usted le responde que usted compró un cake. Que... Digamos que andaba ah, mucho. Sí. <risa> Podemos decir, José ¿verdad? tiene que contestar allí. Ajá. José. José. Sí, es cierto. José. Aquí va. Pero entonces aquí hay que modificar también. Es que José compró el pastel y Rodrigo, usted andaba con él. No, súper, menos mal que estamos en pandemia. Y aquí creo que siempre va a ir Wendy, pero... Ahí sería José. Pero aquí podemos poner así. Ah, ¿quién? ¿Qué compra? Ustedes. Y después José. Ah, no me equivoco. Ah, ah, sí. Okay. <risa> ok, continue working, don't worry. Uh, uh, we, I'll be back in a minute, right? Ok. okay. Nos confundimos de papel. Sí, es eso. Sí, sí. Pa, no, Drum dice que es perfecto. Uh, no, perfecto, es una no, no. Baby, no es. Teacher, no. Hello. drink uh -huh. in pass. Eh, drunk. Ah, drunk. Correct. Ah, Eva, o oh, así como está escrito, Drum. Eh, eh, es A. Ah, ah uh -huh. Sure. Eh, ese que tenía estaba bien, solo que era pasado para ah. uh, Ok. Entonces y, le de pongo... eso, y de eso no hablemos ahorita. Sí. Yeah, sure. A, apenas drunk. manejo el, el hello. Ok, drunk with A, con A. Ah, oh, vale. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Este, ¿Qué más le ponemos? Eh, creo que solo eso, porque ya está el teacher aquí. Sí, teacher, no, porque... <risa> Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Solo le pongo, póngale. Excelente. Okay. Interesting. Ok. Ok. Very good. Uh, ah, ok. <risa> nice. Ok. Ok. I would like to hear you. Go ahead. Practice, teacher. Ok. Yeah, sure. Empieza este. Inicio yo preguntándole. Sí. sí. Hello, Gabriela. How was your vacation? Um, very good. I went to the I went to the beach and visited my family. family. What did you do with our family? We cooked uh, a barbecue, celebrate my mother's birthday. She was very happy. Okay, nice, Gabriela. Fernando, and you? How was your vacation? At my casa, I went to visit my father in San Miguel. I also traveled the Coco Beach. Coco Beach. Okay. The, water, the water was hot, but I drank coconut water. Okay, Fernando, very good. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like this conversation. <laughs> okay, uh, that was really, really nice, students. I like it. So, continue practice talking about the Kuko Beach and uh, see you in a minute, right? <laughs> Thank you. Teacher, a question. Okay. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Es correct coconut water a referirse a que tomamos agua de coco. Es que pasa que no sé si lo pasamos muy inglés, español. Okay, muy literal, ahí, okay. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Not on its water. It's okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Continue talking about that beach, cuckoo beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you in a minute. Yeah, sure. And what did you buy? About a cake? Yesterday I bought a cake too, but it was too hard to find it. Cosmos, 
what did and we didn't you like it? Because yesterday was my father's birthday. Cool. Nice to hear that. But how, how much was it? Oh, I forgot to tell you. It was $20. It was cheap. The next birthday in videos. <laughs> or in videos. Yes. No? <laughs> in <Bayas>. Yes. In <laughs> Yes, I Bye. do. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. Okay, nice. Cool. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Now it sounds much better, right? I like it. Thank you for your work. And uh, thank you, guys. That's amazing. Really, really good. Okay. Uh, See you in a minute. Quiero ver, entonces aquí sería este azul. Es este sería celeste. Y el otro negro. Ok, hello. Este ready? negro. Yes. Are you este ready? Negro. Ok. Negro. Very good, go ahead. Nos fue. Se nos fue de nuevo la compañera. No la veo. No, no aquí estoy. Aquí está. Vaya, Daisy, si gusta, repasemos, hagámosla nosotros y después que la haga ah. Carlos y Miguel. Ok, de nuevo desde el inicio. Sí, sí. Ok. Did you, did you go to the, basket, the basketball game yesterday? Yes, I went to the game. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoy it very much. Who is what the part that you enjoy the most? At the middle time, church leader show. Okay. Did you team with the match? Yes, they did it. The score was a 91 to 61. Yes. Excellent. Okay, excellent work. Really nice. Okay, cool. Right now, I would like to hear Carlos and Miguel. Go ahead. Did you go to the basketball games yesterday? Yes, I went to the game. Did you enjoy it? Enjoy it? Enjoy it? Okay. Yes, I enjoyed it. It's very much. Which was the part that you enjoyed it the most? The middle time cheerleader show. Did you team win the match? Yes, they did it. The score was 91 to 61. Okay, okay. Really good. Nice work. Congratulations, students. You did it really, really nice. Thank you so much. I like your conversation. It was uh, corta y precisa. Eso está genial. Okay, muy bien. Really nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main session. See you there, right? Okay, see you later. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody finished, right? Yeah, sure, really good. Uh, everybody did it really nice. Uh, I, I like when you say, uh, when you said, I'm sorry, in a right way, the past simple tense and the pronunciation was good, nice. I like it. Uh, but as you see, time is over, but we're gonna pass the attendance list again. But just give me a minute, yeah. Okay, when you hear your name, please just say present, right? Okay, Daisy Elizabeth Presino. Present teacher, I am here. Thank you, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vasquez. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Carlos Antonio Mejia Hernandez. 
Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gabriela Mary Zamora Orellana. Okay, Gabriela. <laughs> Say present, turn on the microphone. I, I couldn't hear. Okay, hear. present. Very good, thank you. Sorry. Okay, uh, Jose Angel Santos Martinez. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. And Carlos, Carlos Enrique Martinez. Are you there? Okay, Fernando de Jesus Roldan. Here, teacher. Okay, I no like this color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, really good. Um, okay, thanks uh, for being here, guys. But unfortunately, time is over. I don't know if you have a question about this class. Questions? <laughs> No Teacher, este, la, las, las actividades, ¿hasta cuál vamos a hacer? Ah, ok, ok. Uh, according to this, let me see. Yeah. Ok. Basically, we are working on section number three, right? And we're going to go to this one. You have to do homework. This, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> In all okay. okay, if you got a problem, just let me know through WhatsApp, uh, on the WhatsApp group. And also you have to comment on the uh, discussion box, right? This one, you have to comment something, write something, say something about the class. Okay, really good. More questions? No, okay. <laughs> Okay, if you don't have any questions, guys, thanks for being here. I like this class, and I'll see you next week, right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, see you next week. Good night, for Monday. Okay. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.